it's Miss Carly and I'm here to teach you how to make marigolds out of tissue paper. Okay, so all you need um, from your pack is you're going to have either orange or yellow tissue paper. There's going to be six pieces and you're going to have a green pipe cleaner. And all you need to get is a pair of scissors. All right, so the first thing you're going to do is you're going to take your six pieces of tissue paper that should be approximately the same size, and you're going to lay them out on top of each other. Um, try to make it as evenly as possible it's okay that they're not all the exact same size. Um, let's see, so pile them on top of each other like this. And then next thing we're going to do is we are going to fold them in the accordion fold style. Okay, so we are going to make sure that it's going to be like this. The tall side is in front of you. And we are gonna fold starting at this bottom edge. So if you don't know the accordion style, I will show you right now. So you're going to fold just one strip about this size. Okay, so maybe like a, less than an inch. All right, so I'll show you again. So it's folded like that, about that size. All right, then you're going to flip this whole thing and you're going to fold this strip you just made back on the opposite end, just like that. And you're going to continue doing that pattern. So flip and then fold back, okay? flip, fold, back. All right, so just keep doing that. Flip, fold, back, flip, fold, back. All right, so we're gonna keep on doing that until there's no more tissue paper to fold. All right, and then here's my last one. All right, perfect. So you're going to have one big folded strip like this. All right, so now you're going to take your green pipe cleaner and you're going to make a stem for a marigold. So you're going to wrap it around and make sure it's nice and tight. So you're going to fold it like this and then you're going to take this end and twist it like that. All right, so now it's a stem. All right, so next thing you're gonna do, so this is optional, but um, as we have all seen, flowers, they don't really have square edges, they have petal edges, points or curved points. So we're going to do the same thing with our marigold here. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut the corners off here a little bit just to make a little more of a pointed edge for our flower. Okay, so just take your scissors and not too much, just the corners to a pointed end like that. So it's gonna be kind of like a triangle shape here. And then fold. All right, just like that. All right, and then we're gonna do the exact same thing on the other side. All right, cut the corners off, just like that. And then There we go, perfect. All right, so the next thing we're going to do 
is we are going to separate each individual so we are going to fan out the tissue paper like this all right so we spread it out a little bit kind of looks like butterfly wings right now right all right so then the next thing we're going to do is we are going to separate it, each individual tissue paper so that we bring it to the center of our flower and it's going to create this puffy marigold shape. All right, so I'll show you. So make sure you only have one of the top tissue paper layers right here and you're just going to gently separate it from the other tissue papers and pull it towards the center of your flower so it's kind of covering the green bit right here all right and then you're going to do the exact same thing with the next layer so um if you remember we had six tissue papers so we're gonna have six layers where we do this too. So just separate it like that and bring it towards the center. And it's puffing up our flower perfectly. And remember, tissue paper is pretty fragile. Um, so be careful of rips. And if it does rip, that's okay. Not every flower is perfect. Sometimes real flower petals rip as well. All right, so we're just gonna keep doing this. Just separate each layer. And then while we're doing this, I'll tell you why I picked marigolds. So marigolds are the birth flower for October. So I figured this would be a nice flower, nice craft for an October day. And I figured I could share some fun facts about marigolds for our October babies to know more about their birth flower. So marigolds uh, represent warmth, creativity, and the beauty of the sun. You could probably figure out why because they kind of look like the sun, don't they? with their big bright colors and their round shape. All right, so there we go. Now we have half of our marigold. So we're going to do the exact same thing with the other half, all right? So find that first top layer and push, pull it and pull it towards the middle so that our two halves meet. Okay, so marigolds. If anyone has seen the Disney movie Coco, you probably know exactly what a marigold looks like because those are all over that movie because they're so important to the holiday Day of the Dead. So, the um, marigolds were believed to help guide the dead souls, the spirits, from um, the land of the dead to the land of the living. So uh, in the celebrations of Day of the Dead, people will spread and decorate with marigolds. They will um, spread it towards the entrance of their homes all the way to the altars and if you remember from the movie Coco the altars are called the ofrenda and that's where they honor their deceased relatives and they hope to reunite them and they use marigolds to guide them to the ofrenda so let's see Um, and then another fun fact is the ancient Aztecs would use marigolds as a type of medicine to treat wounds and burns and, um, and 
rashes. Okay, so it looks like I have one more layer. There we go. All right, and then our final fact is, as uh, I said before, marigolds have a really strong scent. So the scent can actually repel pests in your garden, like aphids and mosquitoes. So not only can you use it to uh, celebrate Day of the Dead, you could also plant it in your yard and get rid of those those gross pests. Pests. All right. So there we go. Once you've separated all your layers, look what you have, a beautiful marigold. All right, so thank you guys so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed learning facts about the birth flower of October. And now that you know how to make one, you can make plenty. All right, so thank you guys again for joining me and I hope you have a great October day.